All right, guys, I'm going to start packing again, and I'm kind of doing it a little bit differently. I've gone back and forth on how to do this, but I'm looking at the temperatures, and so we have like lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s, and then it progressively gets warmer while we're there. Um, so, you know, I'm really torn because in the morning, I know it's going to be cold. Like, it's going to be chilly in the morning. So, you know, and even like up until like these days, we can probably wear a t-shirt and pants. So the way I have us packed right now is I have three pairs of shorts for each boy. Now, my boys are very different. Um, Casey hates this style pants. He hates joggers. He hates anything like that. So he has three pairs of shorts and they're all kind of gray or blue jean. And then he has two pairs of blue jeans. Um, days when it's not super hot, like the day that it's 67, 71, 61, he can wear his jeans twice. Um, or he may, you know, start out in jeans, go to shorts, go back to jeans. So I'm thinking I can get a few days out of these. Um, we do have laundry in the hotel, so we're fine there. Um, Trevor has three pairs of athletic style shorts, some blacks and grays to match everything. And then he has two pairs of joggers, like a fleece thicker pair and a thinner pair. Um, and again with him, we can do laundry. And then I'm just putting their shirts like shirts together. We're not all matchy matchy this trip, um, but like we're kind of themed. Some days are like they're similar. So we have like this day we're matchy matchy. They have the exact same shirt. Um, and then I just have their shirts together. So I paired the Lost Boy and Disney Tribe together. Um, these Pretty Fly for a Jedi together. Uh, and then the rest don't really matter. Like Trevor has this one. He has his Baymax. Casey has his Lilo and Stitch, which I think I said to do Baymax with because at least it's like a similar coloring. Uh, Trevor also has the Andy shirt, his Walt Disney World shirt, Casey has this Epcot ball shirt, his popcorn refill shirt, his Space is the Place shirt, which looks really ratty, but Casey loves it, so I'm just going to let him wear it. Trevor has a Give Me Space shirt, so these two definitely go together. Um, and then Casey has this Beast shirt, so I'll just kind of like match these as best as I can. Like I'll probably do these two together just because they're green and similar in color like for when we take pictures or whatever um probably do these two together and these two together again i'm not really as pain in the butt as i used to be with the stuff where everyone has to have matching shirts whatever so i will try to fold these in half and have all the shirts here and then here i have some like long sleeves and stuff that the kids gave me um and then a long sleeve here i also have set aside the boys both have Oh crap, that's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to get Aubrey a raincoat. Um, so we have these like thin but thick enough raincoats for whenever it's cool in the morning. The kids can wear these. So Casey and Trevor both have these. I have their swimsuits. I have both of their hats. I have Casey's underwear and I bought Trevor a new pack of underwear that I need to... Oh, I see it right now. So I'll put his underwear in and then I have their Christmas jammies. Um, based on the weather... It's going to be cold at night, even when it's hot in the 60s. So those pajamas will be fine. Uh, I only bring one set of pajamas because we come home from the resort or from the parks. And I make the kids shower before they put their jammies on. And they literally wake up in the morning and put on their park clothes. So their jammies stay very clean. So we wear them a few times and then we'll wash. So I'll probably wash every couple days. Once I get us all packed up, I will figure out, you know, how I want to do it. Um, I will write down what we have for outfits and I will write down on a piece of paper what outfit is for which day. Cause like, you know, this is obviously a shirt that we're going to wear to Epcot, but we only have, do we have two Epcot? Oh no, we do have two Epcot days. And this is like later in the trip. Um, so yeah. And then I have a lot of sweaters here, so I can definitely pare this down because Trevor has a few long sleeves, like a zip up. And I don't know if he'll need quite all this clothes where he has the jacket. Um, and then I do have a pair of Star Wars joggers here because I think I was debating on doing six pairs of pants. I may do six pairs for Trevor just for Trevor likes to shower very often. So I may do that for him. 
Um, and so, yeah, so this is going to be the boys suitcase. And then I do have another red one. Trevor is telling me that I don't, but I know I have a red one exactly like this. And that's why I'm going to pack the girls and the girls will have a little bit more stuff. Cause like, I don't know if Aubrey will bring her hair and makeup stuff. Um, Aubrey obviously has more undergarments than the boys do, uh, and things like that. And then, uh, Trevor, I think is only bringing one pair of shoes cause he really only has one pair of sneakers that I can think of that are nice. Um, he might have a pair of slides if he does, he'll bring those. Um, but I'm not bringing slides. Honestly, I don't think that they'll swim, but I'm bringing their swim stuff anyways. But yeah, let me get this packed up and I'll show you how it all looks when I'm done. All right. So I just loaded this bat, this suitcase up and it would not all fit in. I don't know what's going on. So I have the five pairs of pants, all the shirts, both boys underwears, five pairs, three pairs of socks each. Both of their jackets, they each have two long sleeves a piece, like, you know, a little bit thicker sweater material. Their swim, this is the hard part about going to Florida when it's going to be anywhere from 60 to almost 80. And then their pajamas and their hats. So I could try to put it in the suitcase, but obviously that's not working. So I'm going to see if I have some of my bags in my closet, if maybe one of those will be a better fit. Well, that worked. And this is a bag we bought on our first or second trip where we bought too many souvenirs and we didn't have enough bags. Um, so this is what we'll use. And I mean, I have other bags, like I pulled all my bags out and like I could do packing keys and all that stuff, but I'm just not going to deal with that this trip. I just want to take it and unpack. We're not moving around this trip. I just want to take it and unpack and leave it there. We are switching hotels for two nights off site because I couldn't get a rate that I wanted to pay for the last two nights um, where part of my stay is on a travel agent rate and you can only book those seven days at a time um, but by then maybe I can just put like everything that we want to bring for that part of the trip in this bag and pack up all of our suitcases because um, we obviously will reuse clothing so this bag is packed it's literally everything for the boys the only thing that's on my list is I have to get Casey a pair of or a package of socks. I can't find any of his socks. And I asked him, he was like, yeah, I don't really have that many. So I'm going to buy him a pack of socks. And I just have to pray that there's no clothes of Trevor's in this stash. Like this is for Aubrey, I think. Yeah, I think that's good. And I mean, this is good too, to throw in the back of my car. Like I can even throw this like on the ground and Trevor can put his feet on it because it's soft. Um, but the problem is, is that is a big suitcase that we normally use and we can't this trip and that's taking up a lot of our space, but it is what it is. I'm happy with this. It works. I'll zip it up and that's, at least my boys are packed now <laughs> and I still have all this I have to deal with. All right. I found the suitcases that I knew I had. So this one is a little bit bigger than the blue one I had, which was good for the boys stuff. Um, so I put in. All the pants from yesterday, so they each have two pairs of pants, two sweaters, three shorts, um, all their shirts. I did take the Walt Disney World shirt and Casey's Epcot ball because they're just kind of beaten and battered. And then Trevor's Star Wars pants, I figure he can wear those if he want. And I did take the coats out because tomorrow, or no, whenever we leave, Friday, I'm going to have them wear those as their coat because when we leave it'll be pretty cool in the morning. Uh, I went ahead and put seven pins on both of their lanyards and put their lanyards in here because they don't bring their pins every single day. Um, and then I do have the penny press thing somewhere I found. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put that in my, uh, park bag. I debated on putting these in the park bag too, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to let them pull them out when they want to. And if they don't bring them, they don't have them. And then I made this little toiletry bag for my boys here I have their underwear, socks, all that stuff. And then there is a little bit of room in here for if, you know, they want to bring back souvenirs or anything like that. Uh, I also can put the boys, um, like fun stuff that we got, but I think I'm just going to make its own bag for that. But in their toiletry bag, I have these Kleenex wet wipes, a comb, the gel that they use, some Q-tips toothpaste. Um, I put some of our uh, three-in-one soap for them. Shampoo for Trevor. Trevor's Axe Spray. They both have one of these like foldable toothbrushes. Trevor's deodorant. Um, 
face wash for Trevor and Aubrey, and then conditioner. I know that there is stuff in the room, but I put this one in here just to kind of have it all set. And then in the girls' toiletry bag, I can go ahead and put like Aubrey's makeup and her hair stuff and all that. And I figure that will probably take up a little bit more space in that one. Uh, so yeah, so we have a little bit of space in here. Uh, Casey will put whatever set of shoes he doesn't want to wear in here. I'll put them in like a Target bag. Trevor only has one pair of sneakers right now, I think. Um, he might have two. I don't think he does, though. So he's just going to have one pair of sneakers to wear the entire time. Uh, and then their hats are here. Their necklaces. I'm not bringing any other glow stuff besides this, where we don't have a stroller or anything like that this year. So I'm happy with this boy's suitcase. And then I'm going to put their magic bands. I'm going to wrap them around here so that we know that that is all set uh and the only thing that i'm missing is trevor's park bag he has an oswald bag and i think it's just in this mess of all the stuff that's in here but their suitcase is packed and now i'm going to try to get the girls stuff in one of these little suitcases and see what i can fit in there all right here is my girls their undergarments socks bras underwear light up things um, all their shirts matched up together. They have like one dress that they're wearing. They are bands. Um, the girls have two pairs of leggings, a pair of capris, two pairs of shorts. Um, and then all of their shirts and then two hats. Their pajamas are down there. Um, and then in their little makeup bag and Aubrey still has to give me a few pieces of makeup that she wants to bring uh, and her elastics and brush uh, but we have a couple bows for Eliana I have one elastic that I could find in Aubrey's room oh I need to charge that um, Aubrey's perfume kids toothpaste Aubrey's lip balm Aubrey's moisturizer uh, deodorant shave gel toothbrushes a lotion, a razor, and these makeup removal wipes uh, that she likes to have and she'll use the boys face wash and all that that's in there. I think that's the only thing I could think of for her. So now that bag is nice and packed. Their pins are there and I'll do the same thing. I'll put their magic bands on top. So here's another bag, nice and packed and ready to go. And I put like an outfit for Ellie to wear that's a long sleeve and pants because the first day we go there it's going to be cold and I'll let Aubrey pick what she wants to wear going down there. I think she's going to wear her pink outfit. Um, but my pile is getting less and less which is good. <laughs> Here is all of our shirts. So I laid out my outfit for uh, the first day and I just have to find out what my husband wants to wear. And those are our pajamas. Uh, we didn't do Christmas jammies this year. But I did mess up a shirt so that's my top. Um, so here are all of our shirts laid out. So, um, I have to make two shirts, but I need to go and buy the shirts and I have to get like a rinse for my hair and I have to get some bras for Aubrey. So I'll run out in a little bit. Um, or I may go out tomorrow when I have to go to my nail appointment. It probably makes more sense just to wait until then, but I cut the vinyl and everything. So I have this one that goes with my girl's shirts as fairest of them all. So I'll make this shirt for my husband that says, my favorite Disney villain is my wife. And then this one says straight out of money. And I can put this one here. Yeah. With my joy to the world shirt. Um, and then all the other shirts are together. So I have like their best day ever, most expensive day ever shirts. I have our true story shirts, our broken spoiled. Um, just some kind of random ones. I just made this one that says Pumbaa. Um, I asked my husband if he would wear this one if it was too feminine. He said, I have four kids. I don't have to worry about looking feminine. Um, but yeah, so I have all of our shirts lined up. And then I did wear the Star Wars Mickey or Santa yesterday. So that's washing right now. And once that's done, I run the iron of it really quickly and then take that. I am going to take a couple pieces of like this vinyl paper. I need to get paper, um, but I am going to take a few pieces of this just in case things lift up when we wash them so that I can... Uh, Re-iron it, but we shouldn't need to. So we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Actually, yeah, we won't need to 
double up shirts, but I should bring it anyways, but I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, so there is all of our shirts. Uh, so we just have a lot of, a lot of shirts, but I had a lot of fun making a lot of them. And some of them are ones we reused and I'm going to use that suitcase for our stuff. Uh, Aubrey is home now, so she's going to get me her makeup for her bag and then that will be packed. Um, and then I did work on this while the kids were in school. So, um, I put my husband's bar soap and then his like body wash he uses for his hair and this like foamy hand sanitizer thing. And then in here I have a couple packets of Tide to do two loads of laundry. Uh, I'm probably going to get some, I bought some gain powder today. I'll probably put some of that in a Ziploc too and then we'll be good on that. Uh, I've gotten a lot of samples of perfume and so, and cologne. So that's for Jeff and I. Our razors are both in here. Um, a loofah that I bought yesterday. And then here I have like a pick for my husband's teeth, two toothbrushes, some mouthwash, Jeff's deodorant, some cream, um, more toothpaste, a travel deodorant, a lip balm, a travel, or no, um, a travel face wash, and then another face wash I got in an Ipsy bag. Uh, and then, I know the mess is everywhere, but it's getting better, I promise. And then here is stuff I use for Curly Girls, so my conditioner, this curl cream, a leave-in conditioner, and gel, and then I will have to bring my big gel, but I need that. Uh, and then I'm going to bring my straightener, he said I decided to straighten my hair, uh, or Aubrey wants to straighten her hair. Uh, this is trash. So I can go ahead and put most of these shirts in, and I'll put these two, where's the other one? that one on top so that I can put these on top of those and then I'll go ahead and get our bottoms because we will need to wash our bottoms uh, but I found this when I was looking for something and then I found this one in Aubrey's room so I'm gonna go ahead and charge this and we'll have these two sticks and I am gonna buy the one Disney has there that you can just pop it out all day I'm gonna buy that one for me and Jeff to use um, and then Trevor and Aubrey will each have one of these well it's getting better hey where's my car with the frog that's all Jeff and I stuff all packed away now. This pile is getting less and less. No, it's really and then I did start this bag, which has like <sighs> our like Christmas tree stuff, stuff to decorate, the hot chocolate mugs, a sponge and dish soap and hand soap. Um, our extra magic bands. Don't touch my candy, please. I won this from a local place and it says, welcome Santa, this is your magic key, the cookies are ready and so are we, that you put on the door. You know where you're at. Oh. Yeah, I did. From where? Ship to shore. You, like, put in the giveaway? Yeah. And then we got these Those cocoa spoons that I think you just put it in water or milk and just stir it around and it makes hot cocoa. So we got six of those. I did get um, some things to make the room smell like Christmas and then I do have this for the window oh I need to get this sign and I'm gonna pull this sign that a subscriber made me many moons ago and this is gonna go woo, in our hotel room I love it I put it up every year um, and so this is kind of like my like bag of stuff for the hotel room and then uh, I need to get like our Christmas books and stuff. And then this uh, area I've started doing stuff that is for like um, our park bags. So we have uh, Kleenex and waterproof bags for all of our phones. I'm charging all of our little things. Trevor has another one he found. So we have a lot of those. These are our magic bands that are for this trip. Some baby wipes. Some wet wipes. Um... I got all the kids their money today, um, so they all have cash, and then um, they all have a $5 Starbucks gift card, and they all have a $25 snack gift card, uh, and then they all have their Disney gift cards that they've had for probably since our first trip that, like, my mom sent them a gift card for Christmas, my aunt sent them a gift card for Christmas, um, so they all have gift or money on those so this will go in our um park bag as well 
I have our pressed penny thing and Trevor found the pressed penny thing. Oh, it's right there. So that's filled with pennies and quarters already. That is the book where they go. That's our second book. And then we started Wilderness Explorers last year. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, so I'm going to put all this stuff in a bag. I think I'm going to wrap up my suitcase tonight and put it over there with those three. Um, and then that bin already went through and we don't need anything else in that bin. I'm going to see what bags I think I may need because all I really have left to do is our first aid kit, um, our park bag, and my makeup bag, and then this like fun stuff. But this fun stuff will probably go in this bag that's going to go with us because um, I want my room completely clean. I have to clean the house tomorrow. I have a nail appointment tomorrow. I have a hair uh, eyebrow appointment tomorrow. So I don't really have time to be dealing with all this and I have to get my Christmas tree down.